All right, today we have, this one's for Saltwater Champ. He requested uh, Perdomo, vintage 12 year Maduro. Haven't had a Perdomo in a long time, so I was uh, more than happy to get this. Got it about two weeks ago, because it's been aging. Not aging, I mean two weeks, just to get it perfect. This is in the Epicure 6x56, basically a, f a thicker Toro. You guys can see the band there. Very nice as usual from Perdomo. This is a 12 year right here. It's cool because here on the band, it's oversized and it tells you the tasting notes. A smooth smoke with a natural sweet complexity, hints of dark cocoa, coffee, rich, robust finish. It's a medium to full. Oh, nice. It tells you the regions. Condega, Jalapa, Esteli. And uh, they said they've been aging it for 10 years. And then an extra two years in bourbon barrels. So it's technically uh, bourbon infused. It smells amazing. I got to say that. It smells really, really good. I'll definitely get some cocoa in the pre-light. And I light it nice and slow. <clears throat> The, the wrapper itself is very beautiful, very nice color, very flush. Very, very nice wrapper. Very nice and oily too. These go for around uh, ten fifty each. You get twenty four in a box for two fifty two at full MSRP, and they're easy to find. It's definitely regular stock, so it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to find it. Punched it as usual. I used a bigger one today because it's uh, really thick. It's a really nice band. Bit of a tight draw, but it starts off super smooth. Incredibly smooth, wow. I got the espresso right off the bat. Getting a good amount of smoke. I definitely got the espresso right away. Real nice thick smoke. Definitely get the espresso, you know, that uh, like a slight bitterness, but it's a pleasant bitterness. It's definitely not something not bad. Not like you would get an espresso, real nice. It also claims to have uh, some licorice notes, which uh, I'm not getting personally, but maybe it opens up. Maybe it comes out later. Definitely getting the espresso. Dark chocolate. Unsweetened dark chocolate. So far, solid medium. Not getting any pepper, which is good personally for me. Incredibly smooth.
I can already tell this is going to be a really long smoke. It's packed very well. And it's burning perfectly. And the draw is just it's, it's perfect, uh, not too loose, not too tight. I'm getting a decent amount of smoke, it's smoking by itself. Nice blue smoke. Real nice. Nice room temperature smoke. It's not hot. And it's not super tight either. I'm getting a good amount of smoke, it's nice and thick. The espresso, I still, I'm still getting the espresso. It's a month sweet and dark chocolate. So far, so good. That's the one thing about Perdomos. They can be whatever you want, but the one thing that is inarguable is the construction. I've never had, even from their cheapest of the cheap, like uh, their Lot 23, and even cheaper than that, the, the Nick Sticks. Never been disappointed. From the cheapest stuff to their most high end. And you could say they're one of the best purely in the in the field of uh, being ultra luxury, ultra good quality. But for not that much more than average and sometimes even less. Like the prices vary, but they're definitely not, not way up there. But the quality is, that's for sure. I like to compare it to like a like a good watch, like um like a Seiko watch from Japan or uh like a, a tag Heuer or yeah, tag Heuer or Seiko, especially Seiko. Because Seiko, they'll last you a lifetime. Amazing watches. And they're inexpensive. That's how I like to think of Perdomo. It has the whole package. It has excellent construction. Elegant, beautiful bands. I mean, it's just aesthetically, they're always a joy to look at. Regardless what you pick up from Perdomo. The construction's always perfect. I've never gotten knots. Never gotten... Uh, stems in there it's just really good it's definitely the affordable luxury I think that's an, one of the main reasons why they're so popular oh wow really nice I just got this 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 hit of of like a, a sweeter chocolate, like a sweeter cocoa. It just hit me, really nice. That is awesome, that was really good, wow. Getting the, the chocolate, the dark chocolate, kind of bitter with the espresso, turned into the espresso still in the back and I got a little bit of sweetness, like a sweet cocoa. I don't know about the licorice, so I'm not getting that, which is great because I don't like licorice. So far, so good. Really good start. Really, really good start. I haven't had a Perdomo in ages. Saltwater champ, cheers. This was a good idea. Yeah, you can tell this is going to burn super slow. This is well over, this is going to be well over an hour. That's for sure. I can already tell. And it's burning great. See the burn line there. It's just a huge band. Look at that. It's enormous. They made it like a little even bigger and they give you like descriptions, which is really cool. I've never seen that before. See, they might tell you the region or or something but for the most part they either say handmade or or the year of the company but no they, they give you like a nice little rundown right there pretty awesome I also like that it's one giant band not like two or three and it has a little bit of a, a gap so I already know I can take it off nice and easy and you can see that right there that means it isn't stuck on it with glue so when I take it off, it won't rip the wrapper. Yeah, like a, the Perdomo over, all around, you can you can not like it, but that's subjective. But the quality, I have never, ever, ever had a bad Perdomo when it came to quality. I might not, they might not all be my favorites because, you know, it's subjective and they make a little bit of everything like everybody else. You're not going to like everything of any company. But always got to give them props for top-notch quality, always. 
And their aesthetics, man. I mean, every perdomo you pick up is, is freaking gorgeous. Oh, it's getting better and better. I see it's going to take forever, which is great. You know, you want to get your, your money's worth. The slower it smokes, the better. So uh, I'm going to keep it short. Espresso. From the beginning to now. We're around 10 minutes in. Uh, started off with some bitter dark chocolate, unsweetened. Now it's getting into like a nice sweet cocoa with the espresso still in the background. Uh, solid medium so far. Perfect draw. Not tight, not loose. Nice and thick. Not getting a, I'm getting a good amount of smoke. Not clouds, but it might open up, but that's fine. That's just preference. So far, I'm getting a good amount of smoke. It's not, it doesn't leave you wanting. Some cigars, you know, you barely get anything, and, and it's like you want more smoke because it's too tight or something. But no, I'm getting the perfect amount of smoke. Not loose, not tight. Great draw. Uh, really nice notes. No pepper, which is great. All right, I'll come back in the. Uh, I'll come back in the second third. Thank you for watching.